great finds I have. A Thundercats magazine, a mystery album, a couple of vintage trucker snapback hats, and some interesting tourist gifts. The first thing I have is Thundercats magazine. Thundercats was a cartoon in the 80s, but it just keeps coming back. They released a Thundercats Roar series this year, 2020. These are alien-like, cat-like, hybrid superheroes. They got great outfits. Even have comical sidekicks. These are always fun to look through. Just like you could used to be able to buy a Tang. I think that's a, a Tang telephone. Which would be great to carry around. You can order all these different things. Sunglasses, Tang hat. Of course, a lot of food things here. It's a Lion's Roar, Thundercats magazine. So it's never really gone out of style. It keeps coming back. Oh, I remember this. So, oh, this... This was something that you saw in a lot of uh, magazines, kids' magazines, as well as comic books. It was a sales leadership club and since 1958. And what they would do, you would call. Do you see the cord on the telephone? I used to have those. You would call, and they would send you some things. And as soon as you sold a bunch of stuff, you would win all these prizes. I mean, you could win a TV, a watch, a bicycle, remote control car, tents, telescopes. A chimp, puppet, monkey thing there. All kinds of cool stuff. Even a sewing machine. Because all kids in the 80s wanted a sewing machine and a skateboard. So what you do is you sell cards and albums. You'd sell probably thousands of dollars to win a 2 or $3 prize. Uh, there was, of course, nothing to pay, nothing to return, nothing to lose. Everything to gain. A great marketing technique. So you sell brand names. It was, it was something that a lot of us fell for, just like the buy 12 mm. cassettes and just have to pay for a couple more. So anyway, there's Thundercats magazine, all kinds of cool stuff in here. Make it cooler. Oh yeah. This would be Kool-Aid coolers. It'd be a little Top Gun action there. A little eye on the earth, see what's happening. Let's go swimming with Mr. Silly Pants. No, thank you. Don't go anywhere with anyone called Silly Pants. Oh, this is a cool first virtual reality. Are you the ultimate warrior photon? The ultimate game of planet Earth. Never seen one. And of course you had your, your actual comic about halfway through. We're all in very, very good shape. Comics there. You had pictures and puzzles. Oh, and if you had this, the WWF. That's what the WWE used to be. Main event is at a corner. Or you, oh, these are the thumb wrestlers. Those were cool. You could get a ring. You could get all the guys. You could be a superstar. Wrestling has been around for a long time. I don't think it's going anywhere. No holes barred. And of course the Hulkster. Now JN Toys. Anyway, these are fun to look at. And Thundercats just keep coming back. Because obviously they are cool. I found this. This is this is a record sent through the mail. And it's Rex Humbard TV Ministries. Um, this is actually the minister who did... Elvis Presley's funeral. Yes. The king had his funeral done by Rex Humbard. Now, Rex Humbard was one a televangelist. And I haven't opened this, so I don't know what's in here. Oh, there's Rex. There's Rex, and there's his cathedral. He was mm -hmm. out of here, out of Akron. And this is his ten favorite hymns. Not sure. Not sure it didn't play too much. It's still in the box here. Uh, Rex is no longer with us, but doing a little research on him, Rex's first name, Alpha. Alpha Rex Emanuel Humbert. I, Alpha. I don't care who you are. That's a cool first name. Next thing I have is some vintage hats. 
Vintage clothing is always, always, always good. And these are, they call these snapbacks. You see they snap back, they're the mesh here. These are old trucker hats, old farmer hats. The only one that would wear these back then are old farmers. Oliver is a brand of tractor. There's your Super 88 here. Got the cool ribbon, it's, you know, the foam. Just, this is in great shape. I don't think this was ever worn it'd probably be out in a tractor and get really dirty. This may have been worn a little bit or just improperly. If you can have a Oliver Super 88, if you're excited about that kind of things. These are vintage. Hard to find. You want to find them with the ribbon here, which makes them very cool. And the stitching. These would be giveaways if you, I suppose if you bought a tractor, you'd get a free hat. But now people buy those. These these can sell for, you know, fifteen to twenty dollars if you're willing to wait. And you got a got a new one, you can sell them for more. They all have different themes, and but nothing says '80s like a good snapback mesh hat. So you can keep the sun off sun off the front of your head, but not the back. All right. The last thing I have is actually a couple of tourist gifts. Now you could get these tourist gifts pretty much anywhere, and you can you will see them. See them sold with um, different things. This one is from the Ozarks. You can see this is actually real bark. That's real bark there. But they must have made these somewhere. It's a picture of an outhouse, and I'm full of pee. That's what I'm just reading it. See, three holes there. The cork. And of course, the companion. To I'm full of pee is... I am full of S. These are both from the Ozarks. So you'd go there, you'd see these in a shop. You would laugh and giggle. But you would know that this is salt and this is pepper, of course. Regardless of what you're thinking. These would be salt and pepper, outhouse, salt and pepper shakers. Because nothing says, let's eat, than pictures of outhouses on the table saying, I'm full of P and I'm full of S. So anyway, you can season your food, have a laugh, and just have an overall good time. And remember your good time you spent at the Ozarks. So anyway, vintage clothing, always good. Snapbacks, always cool. I don't know what you do with these, but they're definitely a conversation piece. I'm very excited that Rex's last name was Alpha and the King's Minister. King of rock and roll, that is. And Thundercats, when you're watching the new Thundercats, remember that the Thundercats are quite old, quite cool. And they used to have their own magazine that sold cookies. Well, thanks for watching. I would like to ask if you would subscribe, like, comment, or just say hello. Thanks a lot.